Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with GoodyReader.com, and today I'm going to teach you how to copy ebooks to your new Kindle e-reader. This is the fourth generation $79 Kindle. I'm going to show you how to use Calibre and Windows Explorer to copy ebooks to it. If you're interested in learning how to check out books and borrow them from the library with your Kindle, we just uploaded a video to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodyreader. Or you can check it out on the front page of our blog at goodyreader.com slash blog. Just to give you a little bit of uh, an indication on what the new Kindle looks like in case you don't have it. This is how the settings menu looks. Popular highlights and notes. You can see here the virtual keyboard. Again, it does not have a physical one. So you navigate the keyboard with your D-pad. It's not a QWERTY keyboard, but it is effectively laid out with all the common signal, uh, you know, uh, at symbol periods and stuff that you would normally use. We also have full comprehensive unboxings and review videos if you're interested in learning about all the features we do that. Before I get into the tutorial let me just show you the distinction between the old generation Kindle and a new one. So this is it side by side. The screens are relatively the same size but you can see that the new one is significantly smaller. It's also thinner as well so you can see here the distinction and then the backs of the device. Calibre is a free open source program. It's one of our favorite programs to effectively manage the content on our e-reader. You can see here under device, there's a picture of a Kindle here because we do have it plugged in via micro USB into our computer. But you can see there's no books in our library. So what we're going to do is right click, add books from a single um, directory, click on desktop, and I'm going to click on the book here. Mobi format is a popular method and a popular format for the Kindle. What I'm going to do here is you can see that there's some underscores and the title's not really formatted correctly. Before we copy it to our device, let's format it correctly. So I'm going to right click and click edit metadata and then edit metadata individually. Now you see here, this is certainly not the author's name. This is the author's name, so let's fix this up. Uh, Heroes of Olympus, this is more or less the series name. So I'm going to copy and paste that here. And just for the title, I'm going to keep it simple. The Son of Neptune. And I'm going to click on this little arrow here so the title sort is maintained, as well as the author sort. So when I'm looking on my device, for authors, I'm going to look for R. A lot of the times when you download books from the internet, a lot of the title cover art may not be maintained. You can also see here there's no rating, there's no ISBN number, and so on. So let's fix this. Now that we have this fixed, we can actually fetch the book details from Amazon or Google. So this is what we're doing here. And Calibre's talking to Google and Amazon and kind of fetching all the book details. So I'm going to click on the first one here and click Next. And then click OK. So you can see here the ISBN number is added, four stars, as well as the full Amazon.com review. It also says that it's in Mobi format and a picture of Amazon logo. So everything looks good now. Now what I want to do is I want to save this to disk to my desktop. You know just so it's there and I'm going to click on device now and you can see here a number of books on my device and here is the book that we want to copy. So let me just remove this really quick just to show you how you add a book. Just because a book is on your library stage doesn't mean it's on your device stage. You have to click add books, add books from a single directory. And then here's the book. Uh, you can see a check mark here which means that the book now is officially on my device. 
So we're kind of done here. So again, this is Caliber. Check it out if you've never checked it out before. Uh, the next method that we want to show you is good old Windows Explorer. So I'm going to call up my Kindle directory here. And I want to click on Documents. So you can see these are all the books I have. This is a, the directory with the author's name that we just copied with Caliber. Now I have a book here on my desktop, Debbie McComber, Cedar Cove, uh, number 12, 1225 Christmas Tree Lane. What I'm going to do is simply just drag and drop this. So this book now is officially on my Kindle as well. So that's it guys, it's a very simple process. Uh, copying books to your e-reader both with Windows Explorer and Calibre. I do recommend Calibre because you do a lot of the times want to change up the way that the author's name is sorted and so on. So hopefully you found this tutorial unique and insightful. For GiddyReader.com, my name is Marcus and everybody take care.